Let me take you back to a time that we are run by deadlines. Let me take you back to a place where labor clouds our judgment. Let me take you back to a time where complexity envelopes simplicity. And guys, let me take you back to a nation that ignores the beauty of life. My friends, peers, colleagues, fellow students, media, and esteemed guests. Let me take you back to about 35 seconds ago. Welcome, guys, to the reality we face here today. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Adrian Vincent, and I'm a 16-year-old student from the su southwestern suburbs of Sydney. I live an average life, guys. I sleep in an average house. I go to an average school. I have an average job. Just like each and every one of you here today. Except for one thing, I can admit that I've wasted weeks, months, and years wasting away my life not appreciating the beauty of everything around me. And I can guarantee that's one thing that you do not want to do, as you will soon discover. Today, guys, you're in for a treat. Today, we are going to break down, throw around, restructure, and reschedule our lives right here in this room. And I only wish for one thing here today, ladies and gentlemen, that one of you can leave here feeling empowered spiritually, socially, and physically about what you're just about to hear. We will entangle ourselves within various fields, ranging from media, reality, and the creative side, and compose our own mythologies towards the simplest figures of life. Let us begin. A world without music, a nation without sound, a place without life, a time without growth, a season without accomplishment, and a fruit without its, without its sweetness. The analogies can be endless, but it all composes through one precise meaning. A world without music, guys, is a place where we cannot grow, we cannot develop, we cannot change, become, or move forward due to, due to another detrimental force. We cannot see the beauty of creation and the elements that surround us and we are bl blind to the privileges that we are granted. We let every day slip our grasp and not take advantage of the moment. To help you understand this, I've concocted some sort of an exercise which is exaggerated a little. All I need to do is to get every second person, which you will work out for yourself, to cover your ears. All right, everyone's doing it, okay, why not? And I need every other person to press their lips down like this. All right, guys, now, whoever has their lips pressed, I want you to talk to the person behind, beside you that has their ears clasped. And I want the people that have their ears clasped to try and understand what the people that are trying to tell you. All right, you have 30 seconds. All right, guys, time's up. Let's evaluate what we just did. Okay, what did we accomplish? What did we fulfill? What did we complete? Absolutely nothing, right? What this world without music puts into our mind is a world without understanding, without a voice, and the lack of sound to even comprehend. It's a world that we don't want to live in, right, guys? This is why exactly this world is creeping into our lives and giving us a state of undesire each and every day. The reality we work, sleep, eat, drink is engulfed. This morning, the executives behind this very event consumed three liters of energy drink and two hours of sleep last night, pulling cities together to make this event happen. Our lives have breached, ladies and gentlemen, the levels of simplicity. Since when did we need 34 varieties of milk? Since when did haircuts have numbers? And since when did older objects have better value than newer ones? I know I'm exaggerating a little, but it takes two seconds to realize how coercive, how forced, and how complicated our lives have become in the past decade. It took me two buses and two connecting trains just to get here. Honestly, the more worry and complicated our lives become, and the less and less time we can devote to actually appreciating everything around us once again, ignoring the beauty in life. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? Ladies and gentlemen, beauty has lost its meaning. According to the Oxford Dictionary,
Building is being able to please the mind, body and soul aesthetically. Let's have a brainstorm. What words come to your mind as soon as I use the term beautiful? Yell it out at me. Louder guys. The ocean. The ocean. I'm hearing a lot. This is, this is good. This is input, right guys? Alright, now we're going to go through another exercise. I want everyone to rate, rotate your head 90 degrees to the right. If there's no one to your right, turn to your left. If there's no one to your right, turn to your left. Alright? Now, say hi and introduce yourself and ask for their name, please. Alright, let's come back, guys. Alright, thanks, guys. Now that you know the person, we're going to do this brainstorm again. But when I ask you to give me words synonymous with the word beautiful, I want you to give me that person's name. Alright? So, beautiful. Give it to me. That, that is exactly what I want to hear. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone in this room is beautiful. Every single one of us. We are brothers and sisters of humanity, tyrants of the future, and voyagers of knowledge. Each and every one of us here today contribute to something greater. We, ladies and gentlemen, are beautiful. It's that simple. In a world like ours, a world without music, beauty is speculated to breaking point. It is twisted and its meaning is, is smudged away by a cheap eraser. That is why here today we sway away from that meaning and veer towards a more simplistic, vivid and brighter future. When we try to locate the aspects that brighten up our beautiful world, we can look at a generic meaning such as the creative elements in our life, which is the pot of gold under the rainbow. We look at art, music, dance, drama and even stories that share the colour spectrum of history and our future generations. These ladies and gentlemen are the creative fundamentals of our life that lead the beauty and luster of every day. In a modern world, we often do not shed enough time to appreciate these, these creative gems and these creative building blocks. It comes to a point where you eventually lose all focus and can't appreciate the beauty of the simplest things in life, such as an artwork, a musical composition, or perhaps a dance. One of the speed bumps you must slow down at before you actually rev past. I know some of you may be thinking, Adrian, these people cannot possibly exist. They are not human, they are machines. But oh yes, they do in fact. Ladies and gentlemen, I can think of two most inspirational people in, in society, dead or alive, that contribute to this very topic. I present to you Ezraf Armagan. Ezraf is a mainstream Turkish painter. Let me rephrase that. Ezraf is a mainstream blind painter. He's been blind from birth, and ever since he enacted his artistic career, he's concocted 109 artistic creations, including Bill, Bill Clinton's portrait. And how realistic the artworks are is extraordinary. He has never been able to understand colours or see as we do today. He's never been able to see the magic light at sunset, nor the beauty of a flowering meadow in the spring. His stubborn persistence mixed with his pure genius has given Ezra the voice to express himself and the eyes to see with, as you can see in the detail that you can see in front of you. Moving on to our second victim, Ludwig van Beethoven. A German pianist and teacher, most possibly the most influential man you will ever meet. Around 1800, Ludwig van Beethoven realized that he was slowly becoming deaf. By 1820, he was completely deaf. What is crazy about the story is that Beethoven created his most famous, his most intricate and complex pieces after 1820. These include the last five piano sonatas, the Mises Solemnis, the Ninth Symphony, which is meant to be playing in the background, and the last five string quartets. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you two of the most greatest appreciators of life. Even with the disabilities, even with all the hindrances they have come across, they can change their lives into something beautiful, as we all should hear today. So how should we evaluate this? Our lives tend to become more complicated as time and responsibility collide. However, in a world like ours filled with bountiful resources, love, sight and privileges, we cannot possibly complicate our lives to the point where this beauty is useless. So you all have to remember, to, all you have to do to remember is any single task that you commit to your day, all you have to remember is to prepare, participate, accomplish, conclude and evaluate 
in the most simplistic manner and truly gain the most you can from it. And trust me, the benefit comes from the outcome. Before I leave you with these ideas circulating in your mind, one last thing you cannot forget is to com commit to a positive, healthy and enthusiastic manner throughout anything you do. There's no sound. <laughs> okay guys, um, I think we just concluded that. Well basically, that little slideshow was just a little clip show of being happy as you're being sad. He's just being converted. Sorry about that guys, but overall, what I've just said, I hope it stays in your mind and you leave here a changed person. Thank you, Sydney.